Captured in the Nighttime by S.C. Turnbow It is seldom that a soldier ever forgets his capture and imprisonment if it should fall his lot. If he was well treated, he has always a kind feeling toward his captors. John Mahan, son of Isaac Mahan, who was a Union man during the war, says that the first time he was taken prisoner was in the fall of 1862. I was a member, he said, of Captain William Pyland's company, and this company with the orders were marching south one night. There were about 300 men in the whole command, and I was the advance guard of 25 men in the charge of Major Wilder. Now near 10 o'clock at night, while we were marching along the road, in the vicinity of three tall hills in Baxter County, Arkansas, called the Brothers, we met a command of Confederate cavalry, which proved afterward to be a detachment of General M. N. Parsons' men, under Captain Wheat and Beavis, which resulted in a little fight in the dark, and I think one man was killed on each side. Then I and Jake Foster were captured by the enemy. The Confederates took me and Foster to Yellville, Arkansas, and placed us in jail there for safe keeping. There were several other prisoners confined in the jail at the same time we were. They kept us here ten days, when I and Jake Foster, and a man of the name of Tom Bowles, and another man whose name I had forgotten, were taken out of the prison house, and they were sent to Ozark, Missouri, under the escort of six men in exchange for. I remember seeing Lorenzo J. Terry, confined as a prisoner in the jailhouse at Yellville, while we were there, and the last time I seen Mr. Terry, he was sitting down on the floor of the jailhouse with his back leaning against the wall of the prison. Mr. Mahan said that the southern men who had captured him were regular troops, and they treated him well.